My name is Marta, and I'm a tutor for YSAMP on the web. I'd love to tutor with you or one of your students, if you've got students out there. Today, I've chosen the question that was probably posted by another teacher out there somewhere. It says, one million grains of rice. Describe the dimensions of a container that I could use to show my students one million grains of rice. So I started thinking, being a science teacher, about this. And I thought, well, what is rice? What does rice actually look like? And so I brought this for you to see. And if you look at each of these uh, grains of rice, you can see that they all have kind of a similar shape, but not exactly. And they turn out to be essentially an ellipse. So if I think about an ellipse, and I think about as a math teacher, what I would use to describe the volume of one grain of rice so that I can figure out what the volume of a million grains of rice is going to be. I started digging around on the web and I found this lovely graphic from webformulas.com, copyright 2019, got it off the web today, which is March 26th, and they give us the volume of an ellipsoid as four thirds times pi times a times b times c, where a is the length of an average grain of rice in our case. And so what's that going to be? I went to the FAO, their website, again today, and it gives us a lot of information about rice. And I'm choosing the medium grain of rice, which is going to give us this whole possibility of all kinds of different lengths. And I'm going to just use one of them. I'm going to use one that's mathematically a little bit easier. And so I'm going to use six millimeters. So if my length is six millimeters, then as I study my grains of rice from my package, and I look at what then is going to be a reasonable height for B and width for C, and I have chosen the, the height of two millimeters and the width of 1.5 millimeters. Therefore, as a final equation to get the approximate volume, volume of one grain of rice, I'm going to use 4 thirds times pi times 6 millimeters times 2 millimeters times 1.5 millimeters. Okay, something important to realize about Wiseant's videos here is that they limit them to 5 minutes. So I'm going to whip through the math on the next board. Here we go. 4 thirds times pi times 6 millimeters, 2 millimeters, 1.5 millimeters is going to give us a volume expressed in cubic millimeters for one grain of rice. When I multiply all the, the, sorry, the numerators here using 3.14 for a value of pi, I get 2, 26, and 8 one hundredths, dividing the, numerate, the denominator by 3. I then get a total of approximately 75.4 cubic millimeters. What does that mean? The volume of one grain of rice is approximately 74.5 cubic millimeters. But we wanted a million. How big is that? So to get the million, we multiply by a million grains, and we end up with 75,400, 75,400,000 cubic millimeters. All right. Now we got to figure out what we're going to put that in. So I started thinking about liter bottles. Most teachers can get a hold of a liter bottle and you could pour rice into a liter bottle. So how many cubic millimeters are in a liter? Answer, one million. So we could use this proportion as a conversion like we do in lots of math. So one liter is equal to a million cubic millimeters. Okay, and X liters therefore is going to, the, you know, our volume is going to equal, is going to be expressed by that over 75,400,000 cubic millimeters. So you solve this, of course, with cross products. You multiply that, you multiply that. So here's the one, the second, and then to solve it, we just divide both sides by a million to get X by itself on one side of the equation. And when we do that, we're going to end up with 75.4 liters. 
that. If you think about those water stations that they have in lots of offices, one of those containers on those big water stations is usually somewhere between 20 and 25 liters. So we'd need approximately three of those to put a million grains of rice in. Wow.